Hey, Falcons fans, and welcome back to another edition of Falcons TV brought to you by La Quinta. And we're here with Luke Adam making his first appearance in uh, St. John's back in hometown. How excited are you to play? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be uh, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, it's a lot more fun that the games are so meaningful for us. And uh, it's such a big weekend, so I'm looking forward to getting back there. You got a lot of tickets out for friends and family? Uh, yeah, I think my I think my parents got a bunch of tickets for, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of family and, you know, people that have supported me over the years. And then uh, I'm sure I'll have some tickets for, you know, my close buddies and stuff, and I'm sure they're going to really enjoy it. Now, you come from St. John's, and there's a couple guys that have made it. Uh, for Falcons fans, what are some of the notable names that have made it to the NHL that those guys would recognize? Uh, well, Michael Ryder and Dan Cleary, they've both won Stanley Cups. And then, uh, you know, Teddy Purcell, that's in Edmonton, Ryan Klo, uh, uh, Adam Party, Colin Greening. Those are the six guys that are in the NHL. And then uh, myself and Zach O'Brien in Manchester. So there's there's eight of us right now playing pro as far as, far as I can think of right now. So, uh, you know, it, there's it, we've always got great support from hometown. And uh, people in Newfoundland are always really supportive of their own. So it'll be, it'll be nice to get back there. You guys keep a pretty tight-knit group talking to each other and uh, maybe a little Facebook page? Yeah, yeah, we... we Keep in touch a good bit. I mean, myself and uh, Adam Purdy, Ryan and Teddy and Zach, we all train together in the summers. And then Colin and Danny don't uh, don't live there in, in the summer. But, uh, you know, when they're back, we're sure to, you know, catch up with them too. That's a part of the world that not many people are familiar with from the States. Uh, talk about growing up in St. John's and, and what it was like uh, being on the rock. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's in the summer times, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. And uh, you know, in the winters, it, it's pretty similar. Most people think, you know, it's way north, but it's not as far north as people think it is. It's actually, you know, it's as far east as you can go in North America, but, you know, it's not it's not that far north. It's, you know, almost equal with, uh, you know, it's actually below, like, Montreal and Ottawa, those places, which people would never think. But, um, you know, it's it's really nice. It's, uh, like I said, people are so supportive. Uh, my mom's Newfoundlander. My dad's from uh, Windsor, Ontario, but... You know, he's kind of turned into a Newfoundlander. He's been there for 27, 28 years now. So uh, we love it, and, uh, you know, I'll definitely put some roots back there uh, for at some point in my career. Did you pretty much play hockey 24-7? Was it school and hockey when you were growing up? Yeah, school and hockey. Uh, stopped playing hockey in April. My dad would always throw the hockey equipment up in the attic and say, give me my baseball glove and say, here you go, and we'll see the hockey equipment again in September. So, you know, I thank him for that, actually, you know, not, not playing – hockey in the in the summertime and doing another sport and golfing and playing baseball and I did that at a very high competitive level too so that was a lot of fun and you know just then when September came I couldn't wait to get back at hockey. What are some of the pro teams that you followed growing up in St. John's? Well because my dad's from Windsor obviously I was Detroit brainwashed uh, Red Wings I'm still a huge Tigers fan still a huge Lions fan so and the, and the Pistons too I'm not a huge basketball guy but they were my team growing up so my grandparents still live in Windsor, and my and my aunt and uncle, and so we would always go there for about a month every summer. So we kind of got uh, brainwashed a little bit. Tough saying by the Scherzer this summer. Yeah, that's all right though. We're still in first place. <laughs> so you got Verlander. You don't care. Yeah, Verlander, Price, um, Sanchez. You know, we'll we'll do the job. Yeah. All right. And uh, right now, you know, you're hitting in the playoff push. You know, it's the final week of the season. Is this time fun, or or is it sometimes nerve wracking for you? No, it's fun. I mean, this is why we play. This is, uh, you know, every every guy wants to make the playoffs and every guy, you know, pushes to, to get in the playoffs and no one wants to be playing meaningless games. So the fact that these are such big games, you know, that just brings that much more excitement to the guys. Being one of the veteran guys in this locker room, uh, has it been uh, a kind of a learning process for you teaching some of these rookies where, hey, you know, it, it is a fun time, you know, don't grip your sticks too tight? Yeah, it's, I mean, you, as much as I've learned over the years, I mean, you know, I've just tried to bring that and, you know, kind of help help guys out and, you know, s just stress how important it is to play well at this time of the year. And, uh, you know what, the team's playing really well right now. So we've put ourselves in a position with some good play recent that, you know, kind of give ourselves a chance that maybe a few weeks ago it didn't look like we were going to get. So, uh, you know, we're excited, but uh, the hard work's just starting. And, you know, we really need these two games, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, got to leave the fans with some Newfoundland slang. What can you give me? Can you pull out some slang for me? Oh, jeez. I, I hear I hear it from Suey. I think the I think the most common one is what are you at by, and that's kind of like what are you doing. Okay. What are you so at by? what are you at by, or like how's she going? Okay. It's like how are you, how are you doing? So, you know, I'm I'm sure uh, you'll pick up some uh, stuff this weekend and be able to bring it back to the fans. I'll have to say it on air too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just use buy a lot. 
Oh, yeah, I heard that. It, it's like, it's Canada's A. Here he comes. He's coming down, and he shoots, and he's, oh, he scores by. <laughs> so, you know, we'll work he on scored, that. If he scores, I'm doing it. Yeah, we'll work on that on the plane ride up. All right, sounds good. Luke, Adam, Falcons forward. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. All right, fans, be sure to check out Falcons TV. We'll have another one after the Falcons take both this weekend in St. John's, and we head into the playoffs. Thank you.